So how can you become a leader if you have not passed through storms? In every great destiny, there's always a storm. God permit you and I to pass through these storms because he has seen a fatter crown, crown coming upon our head. Do you know, no man is permitted to make you poor? A part of your weakness, which you can make your own self poor. Two people can make you poor. You yourself and God. Two people can make you poor. You yourself can decide to make yourself poor and God can make you poor. Once you choose to do nothing, you choose to be poor. There are poverty that does not come from God, but it comes from you. Yes, sir. Am I making sense? You are, sir. Why there are poverty that comes from God? First Samuel 2, from verse 6. He said, The Lord kills and makes alive. He brings down to the grave and brings up. Seven, the Lord makes poor. And the Lord makes rich. He's the one that will bring you low and the one that will lift you up. Two people. Devil cannot hijack your destiny if you believe so. If you believe so. In Plato states that I am and I'm called by God here. If there's any man everybody hates with passion, I should be among them. Because normally it should count. Because how can this young boy, 45, having investments without any launching, no launching, sir? Prosperity leads to envy naturally. Genesis 26, 14 said, yes, naturally. No. If I step down now, they will love me. He said, for he has position of flocks and position of house and a great number of servants. So they feel a whole country envied him. It's normal. If men don't envy you, you are not doing anything. Yes, sir. When I was a businessman, look at Ego, my sister, she will tell you. Read Eze B. Hey, they love me crazily. Oh, Eze, Eze, one come on. Hey, oh, Eze, one catching her. Hey, oh. <laughs> but when Eze has graduated from Eze to building the places, <laughs> so, he should not envy you he should not provoke you you should know it is the crown upon the king that attracts the people around him yes, sir. remove that crown nobody will go close to the king that's true sir so if people don't envy you pray for one I hear you sir for prosperity lead to envy. Yes, sir. After today's feet wash. Yes, sir. Look up here. I see you, sir. My God will make your envy people to envy another person. Amen. Let the amen roll like thunder. Amen. Stop asking this question. Many will say, God, why did you make me poor? Why did you make me rich? He make you poor so that you will know the amount of your enemies. He bring you low so that you will know those that are with you. He make you to go back so that you will classify who are with you and who are not with you. Sometimes, God permits so many terrible things to make you understand some things you will know in future. But you'll be murmuring now, God, why? But you don't know, maybe if he has permitted that thing, you could have died. I will open your eyes because he told me that today is someone's starting day. Amen. He didn't give you a car that last year. 
last month. He knows why. Wallahi. I preached myself. I was telling them, I said, there was a time my father couldn't, doesn't have 10,000 to pay house rents. I said, when I see people building house, I'll say, chai. One came more detail. I went and met my father. I said, Papa, where were you when all these your mates are buying house in Bauchi Road? He looked at me. He said, Your children go tell you, go ask you that question. I said, My children, no go, no go ask me. Any day I remember that word he told me, I hustle. When I see children, the papa they buy basco. We will carry leg. We will clap them for them. Eh? Hey, 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 hey. I did it. I was like, these people, God, I wish that my papa bombed me for this family. Now I understand that God permitted me to go through those hard storms because of many of you here. So that I can able to build your faith because I have passed through them all and I come out from it. You also that is passing through what I'm passing before. You will come out with a testimony. Hey, hey! Romans 9. Romans chapter 9 from verse 18 to 23. There are so many things. Pause. He said, therefore, he has mercy on whom he wills. And whom he wills, he hardens. You will say to me then, why does he still find fault? For who has resisted his will? But indeed, O oh man, who are you to reply against God? Who are you? Will the thing formed say to him who formed it? Why have you made me like this? Why? God, why did you make me? God, why? No, don't ask that question. Does not the potter have power over the clay from the same lumps to make one vessel for honor and another for what? For dishonor. What if God one thing to show his wrath and to make his power known? Enduring with much long suffering. He wants to show. That is my own case now. He spoke to me here. The vessel of wrath prepared for what? Destruction. And that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessel of mercy, which he had prepared beforehand for glory. Do you know if God prepare you for a testimony tomorrow? No leader without experience. For you to lead, you must feel with experience. Yes, sir. Now, if God continue lifting you from grass to grace without experience, how can you be a leader? So how can you become a leader if you have not passed through storms? In every great destiny, there is always a storm. God permit you and I to pass through these storms because he has seen a fatter crown, crown coming upon our head. In the name of Jesus the Christ, I receive. that glorious crown will manifest in your life today. Hey. Amen. I said that glorious crown will manifest in your life today. Hey. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey. Amen. Glorious crown is coming. That is why storms this way and that way. Calm down. Why me, Lord? Stop saying it. Stop saying it. Stop saying it. Yes, sir. You don't know where he's taking you tomorrow. Yes, sir. It's true, sir. If upon all the storms he permitted, I'm advising you, then what are you passing through? Do you know that was the time this young man sleep in Bauchi Road on that bridge? My mother is hearing me. Do you know the time this young man will cry for people to pay him? By the time this young man will go to people's houses, what I do is to wash clothes. I saw Olumide washing people's clothes in my comp uh, plaza here. I was laughing. I said, this boy will be great. I said, any child, you see their father, their mother paid them. My bikino, God and sliver, it is your own. Those children, majority of them end up nothing. 
Don't allow your children to always be in the comfort zone. Comfort destroys destiny. 